how do you shallow the golf club? And what does it even mean to shallow the golf club? Today we're meeting up with PJ professional Jack Backhouse to find out. People always talk about shallowing the club, but what does that even like actually mean? It's a very in vogue topic at the moment, uh, shallowing the club. What, what people are referring to is from the top of the swing, what we want to try and do to hit it further, more power, um, and probably straighter, is we want to get that club moving back behind us as we sort of transition. The reason we want to do that is to create more speed, the club head needs to be further away from the ball. So as you shallow the club and transition, the club head drops behind you and gets further away from the ball, which gives you then more time to create speed into the strike. And what it also does is as you drop it down slightly, you've got a much better chance of being able to get the club on the inside hit it from in to out and get that draw shape that everyone's after. Yeah, so it stops that kind of over the top slicing move. Yes. And also like you can see the club head's traveling further, so it's got more time to like pick Ab speed up. Yeah, absolutely. It's the complete opposite of the over the top move. So this is what, why it's probably so popular at the moment. You know, we are trying to almost delay, you know, if you imagine the club's coming straight down or over the top, the distance the club travels is like almost half than if you can almost, if you can get the club working behind you and then turning through. And it also allows you to use your body a bit better to create speed rather than getting the club outside and then not really being able to turn because you've missed the ball. And then just having to stand up and swing with your arms. How would people go about shallowing the club? Because is it a sense of you need to be in a certain position from your backswing or can you really do it from kind of anywhere? Because I think a lot of people might not even be in a position where they could shallow the club from. You can shallow it from anywhere. Um, but there are certainly places where you can, it's easier to shallow it. So something that I think most golfers don't do enough of, they don't have enough turn. So not enough hip turn, not enough shoulder turn. And they, they're sort of in this sort of restricted hip position where they, they sort of, they can't physically turn the shoulders any further. And from here, it would almost be very unnatural for me to reroute the club on the inside. And all I really want to do from here is turn onto it and like drag the club left. Where you would start with someone who needs to shallow the club is I would just get people turning the hips more as, as much as possible, turn the shoulders as much as possible, and really trying to get their, their hands up and away from their right shoulder as possible. Now, to get the club shallowing, you can sort of do it in two ways. You can do it either with your sort of wrist angles where nothing else moves and you sort of just like bow that left wrist and you can sort of see how that sends the club back and away. or you can also do it with your shoulders by dropping that right shoulder. And obviously when you're doing this, you're going to be sort of rotating as well yeah. at so the same time. you're kind of like opening up with that yeah, left absolutely. while it's doing that. Yeah, so we're, we're up at the top. We sort of, we're starting to turn back. So we're transitioning. We're starting to turn back and I can either sort of bow my left wrist, which flattens the club out, or I can drop my right shoulder down, which again, drops the club behind you. Or you might do, most people do something a mixture, yeah, of, a mixture of both, yeah. So what drills could someone work on if they were wanting to kind of improve this in their game? So the best thing to do is if you've got an alignment stick, it's easy, something like this is really easy. So what I would do is I'd set up to the ball and then I'd put a stick in the ground, probably, you know, three or four feet behind, sort of just outside the ball at the sort of shaft angle you, you stand at. Now, what people can do here is when they swing up to the top and then try and swing down underneath the stick. So what people are gonna figure out is what's the best way to shallow it for them. So some people are gonna feel like they start turning and they're, they're pulling their arms down, they're dropping the right shoulder. Other people are gonna feel like they're turning and bending that left wrist back. But you can almost do this in like sort of self-experimentation and figure out what works best for you because there isn't like a one size fits all here. So I'm, I'm gonna turn back and I'm gonna ignore the stick, not worry about it. Get you know, big hip turn, big shoulder turn. And then I'm either going to drop that right shoulder to get the club under the stick, or I'm gonna bend my left wrist to get the club under the stick and then turn through. And actually you can hit balls doing this as well. So it's a great drill. Go on then. If you can uh, <laughs> get on the range and, 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 and do it. Hopefully that's gone over all of our stuff. 